Hi there, I'm Dr. B. I read in your chart that you've been having a little bit of trouble sleeping and feeling like your heart is racing, a little bit, um, a little bit of lightheadedness, is that correct? Okay, so let's go ahead and check you out. I want to listen to your heart. So just breathe normally here. I'm just going to use my uh, stethoscope here to listen to your heart. Okay. Okay. And now take a big deep breath from me. I just want to listen to your lungs. Make sure you're getting enough oxygen in here. And out. Okay. So the pulse is a little bit high. I do notice your respirations are a little heavier than we typically see, but the heart sounds really healthy. Um, there was no um, breweries noted when I checked your carotid. Um, so I think possibly this could be a mental health issue. Um, that's a very common symptom with anxiety and insomnia is to uh, feel a little lightheaded, feel like that heart is racing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you look into our sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. This is very, very important to me because when I started talk therapy about a decade ago, I really struggled to find someone in my area that I connected with. But since BetterHelp is an online platform, you can remotely answer a few questions and have BetterHelp match you with a therapist in as little as just a few days. You don't have to worry if you don't like your therapist. They'll help you switch at no cost to you and you don't have to worry about insurance um, because it really is like dating. You have to find the right one for you. If you want to try it, you can use my code betterhelp.com forward slash chili b for 10% off your first month. Clicking that link not only helps support the channel, but it's also a cause that I really, really feel very strongly about. I started talk therapy, as I mentioned, about a decade ago. I was really struggling with um, issues of self-consciousness. I was not letting people get close to me, friends or relationships. And I went in to basically work through those issues, figure out how I can learn the skills to tackle everyday things that come up. And during that time was actually when I met Jeremy and I was able to really strengthen my connection with him and let him into my life. So I can truly say that talk therapy changed my life for the better. So if you're struggling, I definitely encourage trying online therapy with BetterHelp. You can use my code in the description below, betterhelp.com forward slash chili b for 10% off your first month. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for supporting our channel. Now relax and enjoy the video. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Welcome to your chiropractic session today. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on? Um, yeah, I've just been having some reoccurring neck pain. Neck pain? Yeah. Um, can you point to where? Yeah. Right in the back of the, the neck here. here. Yeah. Okay. And how long has that been going on? Um, several weeks. Several weeks, okay. Has it gotten um, worse over the course of that time? Mm, not really. It's the same. Has it gotten better? No. no. Okay, so it's it's stayed consistent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you, you remember anything happening that sparked the initial um, discomfort, or just sort of suddenly came on, or yeah. gradually? Mm -hmm. So nothing particular happened. And is there anything that um, makes it worse? Um, for example, does exercise make it feel worse? Things with a lot of movement? Um, maybe, yeah. Maybe a little, okay. And then conversely, does rest uh, and recovery make it feel better, or is it the same? Mm, it's about the same. About the same, okay. So slight aggravation with motion. And... No real rest. Return to normalcy, okay. Any other symptoms with it? Any tingling, numbness, headaches, things like that? Not really. Okay, good. And is it interrupting your sleep at all? Making it hard to sleep? Maybe a little bit, yeah. A little bit less. Sleep. Okay, so... On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being very little pain, 10 being excruciating pain, where would this fall for you? Um, probably a 3 or a 4. 3 or a 4, okay. So it's some discomfort, but not um, interrupting your daily life in any meaningful way. Any other problems that you're experiencing right now? No.
So I want to start off just taking some of your vitals, including your blood pressure. Um, this just lets me know that uh, there's no risk at um, elevating the heart rate or the blood pressure too high during the adjustments, okay? Mm -hmm. So let me just grab my stethoscope and my blood pressure cuff. So I'll have you um, do it on preference. Um, no. Okay, let's do this one then. And you've had your blood pressure taken before, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you tend to run high or low? Um, let me be a little high. A little high, okay. So I'll do this. And just relax your arm for me. Perfect. Hold that for one second. Thank you very much. And just relax completely. You're going to feel a little bit of tightening of the cuff. It was just, just a little bit high, about um, 128 over 86, but still within the normal range, so I'm not worried about causing any you know, stress to your, to your heart right now with these um, adjustments. But let me just take the pulses everywhere here. You could just uncross your arms for me. I'm going to get up here in the neck now. Yeah, that all sounds fine. So let me take a look now. Uh, would you mind just putting your head down as far as you can go? And does that cause any pain or discomfort? Yeah. It does. Okay, bring it back up for me. And can you go back as far as you can go? What about that? A little mm -hmm. bit of pain. Okay. Um, turn to the side. Does that hurt? Mm -hmm. And this way? Same pain, discomfort? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you tilt your ear to your shoulder for me? How about that? Does that hurt at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other way? Same thing. Mm -hmm. um, which one was the most painful movement? Um, probably down. Going down. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to feel the neck here. I'm going to come behind you, right? Actually, if you just swing around, swing your body around. Perfect. Separate my hair here. I'm just feeling into these occipital lobes here. It's quite a bit of muscle tightness. I'm gonna feel down the, the back, the muscles of the back. I want you to tell me if anything else bothers you. It's a little tender. Just a little tender? Mm -hmm. okay. Is it like a shooting pain or just like a soreness? Mm, maybe just a soreness. Okay. And these muscles are really, really tight, which wouldn't surprise me if the neck is in pain, these are going to be the muscles that are going to compensate for that and try and take over the workload. Is it sore on this side as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's another indication that it's less likely a pulled muscle or injury and more likely uh, overuse. Any pain on the shoulders? Mm, no. Okay. I'm going to just be hitting you a little bit with my hammer here, and I want you to tell me um, if there's any nerve pain that shoots down the spine or any excessive pain. I'll start really lightly on the neck here. I 
that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to move down the side. Um, across these shoulders here. Just looking to see if that's any nerve pain with that. Anything thing shooting down the arm. Mm. Good. That's all okay. Mm -hmm. all right. I'm going to take just a couple of reflexes of your arms here. Um, it's going to be a little awkward because I'm doing it from behind, but I just want you to give me full weight. There you go. Perfect. And on this side. Just relax. Okay, so those are fine. So um, the uh, nerves and the reflexes that go down the arms seem to be okay. Just taking a look to see if there's any bruising, anything that could signal that there was an impact that you're just not aware of. Feeling for bumps in the head as well, since it's so close. And everything looks completely fine. Not seeing any bruising. There's not really even any swelling. There's just maybe a little bit of swelling right here, actually. Right on the back here, but down the muscles is not swollen, it's just really tight. Okay, Jeremy, go ahead and swing back around for me. I just want to do the couple of reflexes that I missed in your arms here. So again, just give me the full weight of your arm. There you go. The side full weights. Okay, a little less reactive in the left than the right, but still both reacting. So, uh, so I'm just gonna move your neck now, and I want you to just relax and give me the full weight. I'll try to just make little movements here, not causing too much pain. Just feeling for the vertebrae, and I do already feel a joint out of alignment here. Does it cause more pain when I press like this? Mm-hmm. Okay. If I stretch you here, does that cause more pain than just moving your head? Mm, no. Okay. Same thing on the side. If I stretch you here, is that more painful than just tilting your head? No. I want to test for the strength and the weakness, so push forward on me. That, I'm sure that causes a little discomfort, but you're nice and strong. Push back. A little weakness there to the side. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. So definitely some weakness going backwards like that. All right, I'm going to have you move over to um, the massage chair now. There's a couple of maneuvers I want to do on you as well as um, to uh, check for any temperature variations in the back. Um, so I'll have you lay there uh, and uh, just remove your shirt for me if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Jeremy, let's take a look at some of the temperature variations in the back. I'm going to fe first feel with my hands. It's definitely a lot of heat coming from the neck. It does get cooler as I work my way down. Using a nervoscope, and you're going to feel two little prongs. I know you've had this done before. I'm definitely seeing a big jump right there in the neck, right where you're complaining of that discomfort. A little bit right here as well. So the spine looks okay. Big jump right there. So 
I've got a several degree difference from the neck from the top of the, of the bottom of the occipital to the top of the spine. And then in this upper area, this upper lumbar area, we have about three degree difference. Okay. So I'm gonna be performing what's called an occipital drop on you, which essentially means I'm gonna be checking the um, occipital lobes and where it's at and how even it is based on some of the movements I'm doing, okay? Just lift your head out of here, turn it to the side. Good, back in the middle. It's a little better. a little lower on this right side. So I'm going to come this way. Got just a little pen click there. That's what you're going to feel. And it's just a micro adjustment. So instead of me putting a lot of pressure, it's just creating a small vibration here. So And loosen up the muscle that leads here. It's really tight and it's pulling back on this neck here. It's a little better. Trying to adjust the shoulder backwards. There we go. This arm goal is for me.
one in the head here. Slight spinal adjustment there. I'm gonna try and pull some of these tight muscles away from the spine. Your muscles are tight, they're pulling on the spine here, which is causing the neck to tense and tighten up. better. Let's finish up with a little bit of scraping on the back. I'm going to try and get some of that um, fascia broken up. First thing, you just feel a little bit of Pulling. Trying to roll out those muscles. Should feel a little bit like squeezing. Does that feel okay? is just pulling the skin away from the body. Trying to pull away from those adhesions. It's gonna use just a little bit of oil for the scraping. cold at first and then you might feel some heat as I bring out some of the redness. All those little bumps you're feeling, those crunchy feel, that's just the scar tissue breaking up. Left side's worse than the right. The right's not really, nothing's really coming out. A little bit right here. The left side's definitely more red. Overall, not too bad though. Let's 
wipe you off and then we'll have you sit back up and test that neck out. All right, Jamie, uh, now that I've got you standing up, let's go ahead and make those motions again with the neck. So back as far as you can go. How does that feel any better? Mm -hmm. A little better? Yeah. Okay, forward as far as you can go. That was oh, the worst. Much oh, that's much better. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, to ear to the side and the other way. Yeah, a little, a little better. Bit, a little better and side to side mm -hmm. as well. Okay, so definitely made some improvements there. I, I absolutely noticed that we had massive tightness in the muscles um, right above in the upper back leading up into the necks, into the occipital um, lobes. Um, pulling, I think, t causing tension and pulling onto um, the neck itself, causing the back to sort of compensate and take most of it. Um, probably due just to use of those muscles. We use those muscles a lot if we're looking at a screen, anything that's sort of keeping our neck pulled down, mm -hmm. um, as I'm sure you know. So we can, next time you come in, we can do some uh, techniques to help reduce some of that pressure on that area and hopefully getting you feeling a lot better, okay? Okay, so we will do some decompression next time. And we can do a little bit more of that therapy that we just tried today. Okay, any other questions for me today? No, I think that's it. All right, well, I'll see you in just a couple weeks. I want to see you again very soon to get working on that. Perfect, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.